have a two all draw today coming um, from a goal behind at the end there. Um, how would you assess tonight's performance? I thought it was um I thought it was a better performance probably than, than maybe Saturday on occasions, but also at times I thought we were we were far too sloppy with the ball. Um we didn't we didn't take care of the ball well enough first half, you know, once we got the lead, um we just didn't manage the game very well as in you know we were given we were given we were given time to play and time to compose ourselves and we seemed to do everything 100 mile an hour and we just didn't get that composure and we kept getting broke on because you know lads are making runs for 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 players that are reliable on the ball usually and they were just you know we just just got away from us a little bit first half so a few words were said half time um came out second half created loads tonight and and, and worked the keeper which is what you know what we've been missing a lot of the games Created loads of night. Keeper made some great saves. Uh, they got some great blocks in. We missed the target on occasion, but we scored two good goals. Um, so I can't be overly disappointed because um, you know we, we were behind with, with a few minutes to go. But I was determined to get something out of the game. We were, de we were determined. To, we we're trying to win it. I mean, sometimes when you, you know when you're trying to win a trying to win a league or trying to push for promotion. Um, a draw isn't you know a draw isn't what you want if you, if you smell of you know if you smell blood and you think you've got a chance to win the game and we we're desperately trying to win it you know not not hold on for a point in the end we were trying to win it uh, and we just fell short yeah and, you know going into this game um, was it always going to be a, a, no, a close contest with Hereford being you know another big team in this division yeah I mean if you look around it's a lovely stadium it's a great pitch it's got a great history to it and they're a team I suppose like you you know they don't want to be in this division and um, you know, and they've got a set of supporters as well. I probably don't deserve to be, but this, this is where we are. So it was always going to be a tough game. Um, they've got a lot of strength. You know, the the, the Stacey's a handful up front. Um, and but you have to say, like you have to say, they got a bit of luck tonight as well. You know, that first goal was farcical. <laughs> Hit the corner flag at so much pace, and then came back 20 yards. So Pete was forced to rush out and try and clear it, and then the left back try to score from his own half and cork screwed it straight to their strike as head so yeah that you've got to accept that happens in football so there's a bit of fortune to their first goal and whether it was a foul or not for the second goal I'm, you know, I'm being told by the lads that either way it was well outside the box so we can consider the goals against us unlucky uh, we can consider the goals we scored very good work very well worked goals and as I said we, we were trying to get more in the end we were trying to go for it but I think you know, looking at the fans who travelled, what fantastic sort of um, effort from them, and I hope they, you know, appreciate our efforts tonight. And, and, and that was probably a good game to watch. Um, but as I say, disappointed not to get three points. Yeah, and one of those goals, Kemp's the scoring. Um, will that give him a, a good boost to his confidence going into the next few games? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's, he's worked tirelessly. He always does, and he, he makes a lot of runs, and he, and he creates a lot. And um, and he was scoring a little bit more freely. He's found it a little bit harder to get his goals. So hopefully, yeah, it is. It was a good finish. It was a really good finish. And you know, the second goal very similar to Saturday's goal. Just you know, great, great run from a striker getting across the front man. Yeah. And was today a good chance? You know, you brought um, Jarrell and McLaughlin on. Um, was that a good chance to look at the midfield options? Well, yeah, we've got we've got five five strokes six. Good midfield options, you know. We've got we've got the three that started. We've got Paddy on the bench, who's still got a big part to play this season, but he's just it's been a little bit stop start for him. Uh, injured at the very start, and then um, just crept back into it, and then missed another sort of week's training and a, and a game. Um, so he, he's found it hard, but there's, you know Paddy's a class act, and we know that we know he's got a big part to play. Yeah, and, you know, with the two games in the week, um, will we expect to see many changes on for the Saturday. Well. You know, whoever we change, you know, the lads that we've got travelling, bearing in mind we've still got sort of Harry Spratt and, and Nathan Dyer who weren't even stripped there. We've still got um, Dan Maguire who, you know, has, has just been horrendously unlucky so far this season. Um, so yeah, we've got, you know, we've got options to change it, and we'll see how everybody is. We'll we'll, we'll get uh, we'll get back on the bus. We'll we'll be slightly disappointed that we won the game, but not overly disappointed, and we'll. Uh, and we'll, and we'll see what the best way that we can hope for to try and try and get three points on Saturdays.